consider the number of things that are being connected to the world today that were not connected a few years ago, and the amount of data that those things will create, and the fact that that data is going to be highly distributed. Uh, what we see at Cisco is a market that's in transition from a world where wherever your data was generated, pulling it all back to a central data center was feasible, if not the best approach, to a world where there's going to be so much data that's created so far out at the edge of your enterprise that pulling it all back to a central place is just not going to be possible. When we started talking with Composite, it was about how, how do we combine making the network faster, being more efficient about how we move data with what Composite's core strength has been in making sure that the, the data uh, is moved only when it really needs to be moved. So history suggests that Cisco understands how to find markets in transition and build the expertise in-house through internal innovation as well as acquisition to take advantage of those market transitions as a, as a business for Cisco, but more importantly to help our customers manage through those markets that are in transition and, and manage through some of the things that are coming. John Chambers, our CEO, talks about Cisco having an interesting ability uh, historically to see around the corner. Bringing together the applications and the infrastructure is something that's um, in, increasingly important as, as Cisco's customers talk to us about what they need from us as an infrastructure company. And we believe that Composite helps us build a platform that sits in between the applications and the infrastructure and, and facilitates some very important connections. We created a business unit called the Data Virtualization Business Unit uh, with Jim Green as the general manager. And so the entire composite business, uh, save, uh, save quota carrying sales, is now part of a business unit within Cisco. So the entire composite team stays together. They continue to innovate in the way that they innovated as an independent company. They continue to have Jim Green setting the strategy what Jim gets from this, other than having to deal with me every day, is some infusion from Cisco of cash to go do more than what Composite was going to do as an independent company to move a bit faster than Composite would have moved as an independent company and uh, to get some connections into the infrastructure that would have been very difficult for Composite to do as an independent company. Uh, with that, let me invite uh, Jim Green, who's the general manager for our data virtualization business unit and a composite CEO to come up. Thank you.